Hey guys, Dave here from KDM Performance. We're gonna do a little tech tip Thursday today. We got this uh, jig set up for a B-series front wheel drive and we're gonna show you a couple features on this shifter. Here's the B front wheel drive shifter. So this lever right here is made to disengage the 232 lockout, which is this block and the fifth and reverse lockout. The way you adjust this is by screwing in or out these four set screws. The bottom one are your one, two, three, four, five, six gate. This set screw blocks the shifter from traveling over first and second. That set screw blocks the shifter from traveling over the fifth and reverse. If you daily drive your car, and you do not have a dog box, you might consider removing this set screw and that one. The two top ones are made to limit the travel left to right so you don't flex your shift selector. See, I'm gonna pull it in. It limits how far the shifter can travel on that side. Same thing on this side. So when you first set up your shifter, I really recommend that you just take the two top set screws off to give you the maximum travel. The way I like to set it up is once it's going nice in first gear, I'll go in and I'll just put the set screw and turn it like half of a turn so it doesn't just flex on the selector. And keep in mind, those set screws and that block, that applies to all of the KDN shifters. They all work the same with the set screws. Either it's the K-Series, a DSM, or an SRT4. It's all the same. So that's it, guys. Just a little tech tip Thursday. We're going to try to do this every week to get some more knowledge out there for you guys. If there's anything you would like to see on a video like that, please let us know in the comments. Cheers.